and welcome to the Kingdom Bees channel for episode 6, as we take a closer look at the role of bees in agriculture. In the heart of nature's hustle and bustle, these tiny industrious creatures play a monumental role. These small yet mighty creatures have a significant impact on the world around us. They are the unsung heroes of agriculture, the essential workers who tirelessly toil in the fields, orchards and gardens. Bees are nature's best pollinators, transferring pollen from male flower parts to female flower parts. This process is crucial for the growth of many of our favourite fruits, vegetables and nuts. Imagine a world without apples, almonds, blueberries or cherries. It's hard, isn't it? These are just a few examples of the crops that rely on bees for pollination. Without these diligent pollinators, our plates would look a lot less colourful and our diets a lot less nutritious. But bees do more than just pollinate our food crops, they also play a vital role in maintaining biodiversity. By pollinating wild plants, they help to support diverse ecosystems, providing habitats and food for a multitude of other species. Furthermore, bees contribute to global food security. They help to increase crop yields, which in turn supports farmers' livelihoods and ensures a steady food supply for us all. It's estimated that one out of every three bites of food we eat is made possible by bees and other pollinators. In a way, bees are like the hidden threads that hold the fabric of our ecosystem together. Their work often goes unnoticed, but without them, our world would be a vastly different place. So, the next time you bite into a crisp apple, savour a handful of almonds, or delight in the sweet taste of blueberries, remember the bees. Remember their essential role in agriculture, their contribution to biodiversity, and their crucial part in ensuring food security. So, next time you enjoy your favourite fruit or nut, remember to thank these little pollinators. But beyond their physical contribution, bees offer us profound spiritual lessons too. Now you may be wondering how exactly these small creatures can teach us about our spiritual journey. Well, let's delve into it. Much like how bees pollinate crops, spreading the seeds that bring forth a harvest, Christians are also called to be spiritual pollinators. We're tasked with spreading the seeds of faith, love, joy, peace and kindness among our communities. This is similar to the fruits of the Spirit mentioned in Galatians 5, 23 The bees' work is tireless and they never cease in their quest to nourish the world around them. Similarly, we too are called to continuously spread these spiritual fruits. This work of spiritual pollination is not just about spreading the Word of God, it's about enriching the lives of those around us. It's about fostering a community of love and acceptance, a place where everyone feels valued and cared for. Just as a field of flowers needs bees to thrive, our communities need us to spread these fruits of the Spirit. When you think about it, the life of a bee is a testament to the power of selfless service. They work for the good of their hive never once asking for recognition or reward. In the same way, our spiritual journey is about serving others selflessly, about showing love and kindness without any expectation of getting anything in return. In the grand scheme of things, we're not that different from bees, we're all part of a larger community and we all have a role to play in making that community flourish. So let's learn from the bees. Let's become spiritual pollinators, spreading love, joy, peace and kindness wherever we go. Like bees spreading seeds, we are called to spread the fruits of the Spirit. And that's the beauty of our spiritual journey. We're not just individuals on a personal quest. We're part of a larger mission, a mission to create a world filled with love, joy and peace. In their quest for survival, bees teach us about sustainable practices. These small creatures demonstrate an extraordinary model for sustainable agriculture, showing us how to live in harmony with nature. They pollinate crops, ensuring the growth of fruits, vegetables and nuts, which are vital for human survival. Without them, our food security would be severely compromised. Now, you might be wondering how this relates to us and our spiritual journey. Let's take a closer look. Bees work tirelessly, exhibiting a sense of purpose that is deeply rooted in their nature. This purpose-driven work ethic is a beautiful reminder of how we, as Christians, are called to live. We are called to be good stewards of the earth, to care for it and preserve it for future generations, just as bees care for and preserve their hives. In the book of Genesis, 
we are given the responsibility to work and watch over the earth. This biblical mandate echoes the sustainable practices we see in the world of bees. They promote the growth of diverse crops through pollination, aiding in crop rotation. They encourage organic farming by thriving in pesticide-free environments. They even inspire the creation of bee habitats, showing us the importance of preserving natural ecosystems. Much like the bees, we are called to be stewards of God's creation. We are tasked with preserving the earth, not just for ourselves, but for future generations. This is a reflection of our spiritual journey. Just as we strive to grow and preserve our faith, we are called to protect and nurture the earth. But it doesn't stop there. Bees also demonstrate an admirable resilience in the face of adversity. They adapt, they overcome, they endure. In this, we see a mirror to our own spiritual struggles, a reminder that with faith and perseverance, we too can overcome. Just as we care for our spiritual growth, we must also care for the earth, our shared home. After all, the health of our planet and the state of our souls are deeply interconnected. The bees have shown us the way. Now it's our turn to follow their lead. In the face of adversity, bees show remarkable resilience. This statement is not just a testament to their survival, but also a metaphor for our spiritual journey. Consider the challenges bees confront every day. From drastic climate changes, toxic pesticides, to the relentless loss of habitats, bees consistently find themselves in a battle for survival. Yet, they do not falter. They adapt, persevere and work together, exhibiting a unity that guarantees their survival. In the hive, every bee has a role, and each one diligently fulfills its duty for the common good. This unity and cooperation mirror the body of Christ, as described in the first letter to the Corinthians. Chapters 12, verses 12 to 27. Just as every part of a bee colony is crucial for its prosperity, every member of the Christian community plays an essential part in its spiritual nourishment and growth. Yet the hive's harmony does not mean the absence of struggles. Instead, it's a testament to the bee's ability to overcome adversity. We too face our challenges. Self-entitlement, greed, hate and lust are but a few of the obstacles on our path towards spiritual awakening. But like the bees, we can overcome. We can learn from these buzzing creatures the importance of repentance, the daily renewal of the mind, as suggested by Paul in his letter to the Romans, chapter 12, verse 2. And just like bees, we are called to confess our sins and shortcomings, this confession is not a sign of weakness, but an expression of humility and the first step towards transformation. It's akin to the bee's relentless work and adaptability for survival. The lessons we can learn from these tiny creatures are profound. They teach us about resilience in the face of adversity, the importance of unity and community, and the necessity of confession and transformation. In unity, we find strength, in adversity, we find growth. So let's take these lessons from the hive to heart and apply them to our spiritual journey. Like bees, we can overcome, we can grow, and we can contribute to a spiritually nourished community. Bees have shown us the way. Now it's our turn to act. In the grand scheme of things, bees may seem insignificant, yet their tireless work and unity are essential to our survival. Their dedication to the hive, despite all odds, is a testament to their resilience. And it's a lesson we can all learn from, both in caring for our planet and nurturing our spiritual lives. Bees need our help. They are facing immense challenges from climate change, pesticides and habitat loss. But there are simple actions we can take to support them. Plant bee-friendly flowers in your garden, Reduce your use of pesticides. Support your local beekeepers. These small actions can make a world of difference to our buzzing friends, but our call to action doesn't stop there. Just as bees nourish our planet, we should strive to nourish our spiritual lives. Our spiritual journey is a continuous process of growth and renewal. It requires daily surrender to God, following Christ and loving God and others. In the same way bees work tirelessly to pollinate our crops, we are called to spread the seeds of faith, love, joy, peace and kindness. This is our chance to contribute to a spiritually nourished community. The parallels between environmental and spiritual renewal are clear. As we strive to support bee populations, let's also strive to nourish our spiritual lives. 
Let's commit to sustainable practices that protect our planet and support bee populations. Let's also commit to practices that nurture our spiritual growth. We can learn from the bees. We can take their resilience, their unity, their unwavering dedication and apply it to our own lives. We can work together to overcome our challenges, just like bees do. We can spread seeds of faith and love, just like bees spread pollen. As we strive to support bees, let's also strive to nourish our spiritual lives. Let's take action for the bees, for our planet and for our spiritual journey. After all, it's not just about surviving, it's about thriving. And together we can make a world of difference. As we strive to support bees, let's also strive to nourish our spiritual lives. Our journey, like that of the bees, is one towards enlightenment. In our quest for understanding, we've delved into the world of bees, these tiny yet mighty creatures that play a pivotal role in agriculture. We've seen their diligent work, pollinating crops and ensuring our tables are laden with fruits, vegetables and nuts. Their ceaseless labour is a testament to their crucial part in the ecosystem and our survival. But the lessons don't stop there. There's a spiritual parallel to be drawn from these industrious insects. Just as bees spread the seeds that lead to physical nourishment, we too are called to spread seeds of faith, love, joy, peace and kindness, contributing to a spiritually nourished community. This analogy echoes the biblical principles, particularly the fruits of the Spirit mentioned in Galatians. We've also looked at sustainable farming methods that protect and support these buzzing dynamos. These practices mirror the concept of stewardship in Christianity, emphasizing our responsibility to care for God's creation. Just as we strive to preserve the earth for future generations, we are called to spiritual preservation and growth. Moreover, we've learned from the struggles in the hive, from climate change, pesticides, to habitat loss. These challenges mirror our human battles against self-entitlement, greed, hate and lust. Yet, in the face of adversity, bees unite and work together, demonstrating the power of community and unity. This too is a reminder of the body of Christ and our journey towards spiritual awakening. We are called to action, both environmentally and spiritually. Just as we can support bee populations through simple actions, we are invited to reflect on our spiritual journey, to daily surrender to God, love Him and others, and seek spiritual renewal. In essence, our journey towards enlightenment is a continuous process, much like the bee's relentless work and adaptability for survival. As we learn from bees, may we find nourishment both in the physical and spiritual realms. Join us again for the seventh episode of this 10-part series. Please leave us a comment, like, and subscribe to our channel. Feel free to share this video with others. You never know whom you might bless by sharing our content. Thank you so much for watching. May God bless.